What is going on DC fans? Welcome to my official Suicide Squad non-spoiler movie review where today we're going to be discussing and talking about the latest Suicide Squad movie and of course making the comparison coming fresh off of Batman v Superman. Now again guys, please keep in mind that this is going to be an opinionated video. Some people loved Suicide Squad, other people hated it. Now, first things first, right off the bat, I do want to say personally for me, I would have to say that I personally enjoyed Suicide Squad a bit more than Batman v Superman. I thought the overall character development in Suicide Squad was great. Uh, featuring Harley Quinn, we have Killer Croc, we have uh, Deadshot, in which case I was really worried about before going into this film because I didn't really know how exactly they were going to portray Deadshot, but I actually have to hand it to them and say that they actually did a very good job with uh, Will Smith's role. So um, the movie itself uh, is built off of the structural foundation of formulating the Suicide Squad and having them go in there for a mission, for a very specific and brief mission, um, in which case we find out later in the story that uh, the mission that they were sent to do uh, was very, very contradicting in the story itself because they had to rescue someone who was pretty much uh, threatening them and threatening their lives. I'm not going to get too much into that, but making the comparison to Batman v Superman to Suicide Squad, I would have to say that Suicide Squad to me personally felt more enjoyable than Batman v Superman. Now, although Suicide Squad did have a little bit of plot holes within the actual story, uh, certain characters, I believe at least, didn't get to shine as much as uh, others. Uh, but in terms of, you know, Harley Quinn having to be portrayed as the way she was, it was great. Now, uh, the big question that's on everyone's mind is, how was the Joker? How was Jared Leto's Joker? Uh, I would have to say that this movie did didn't really involve nor showcase Joker as much as we've wanted it to. Uh, obviously enough, they focused more on the other members of the Suicide Squad, but uh, but Joker separately, I would have to say that he did a relatively good job portraying the image of Joker, especially a, an alternate Joker, because you can't really make the comparison to Heath Ledger's Joker. Um, there were two completely different Jokers as we saw in the movie. Now, my first question to you all, especially those who have seen the movie, is uh, if you had to compare Jared Leto's Joker to Heath Ledger's Joker, which Joker do you guys prefer and why? Um, although again we didn't really see too much of joker in this film i want to know from you guys what are your overall thoughts on his performance and what are your overall thoughts as joker as an entire character within this particular film um the visuals i would have to say were great um the music was very very edgy and i think every single character brought a level of uniqueness to the table they all had different personalities and reasons as to why they were there uh the ending i wasn't really too fond of because they did everything they did uh just to get the reward they got in which case it was what it was uh, for the time being I do feel as if they might go on ahead and uh, follow up with a sequel. I mean, nothing has been confirmed as of right now, um, but I can definitely see a follow up happening, especially with the events that have gone down towards the very end of the movie. So um, I would have to say personally for me, if I had to rate this from a one to a five, I would have to give this movie a solid four in my opinion. Um, it felt enjoyable. Uh, you can see the character relationships beginning to build. Uh, one moment we had certain characters that wanted to like flee and run away and, you know, capture their freedom and stuff. And the next minute we see them working together. So that, like there was a little bit of friction, not that much. Um, but there was certain characters that were kind of like, you know, skeptical on the others about what they were doing there and, and if they were going to contribute and stuff like that. So um, the, the structural foundation of like the villain itself, I felt as if the villain didn't really have that much of an effect onto our characters. I felt as if the villain was a tad bit flat in a way. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, we saw the way, you know, the Suicide Squad had to handle business. Uh, but I just personally feel that the villain of the film could have had a much more effective role uh, than as opposed to what we saw. Now, again, keep in mind, some people love the movie, some people hated the movie. If you guys hate the movie, comment down below and let me know why. If you guys love the film, comment down below and let me know why. Uh, again, for me, like just making the comparison to Batman v Superman, uh, Batman v Superman had a, a, lot, a lot of talking. Um, it had somewhat of character buildup, but I would have to say that comparing that to this film, uh, we got straight into the action right away. Uh, we, have, we had an overall backstory as to each individual and as to why they were pretty much located at the prison that they were at currently. Um, I would have to say the standout character characters were definitely Deadshot and Harley Quinn. I think those two practically made the film. Aside from the Joker, of course, because the Joker made a couple of appearances, uh, we also get to see The Flash make one little brief uh, cameo appearance. We also get to see Ben Affleck's uh, Batman in the film as well, in which case everybody already knew. Um, but I would have to say this is a very solid film. Um, there were certain things about the film that really weren't that good, uh, but nevertheless, comparing this to the other films, I would have to say uh, this was a relatively enjoying film. Uh, I I personally enjoyed the film a lot because um, seeing the characters on the big screen, seeing how they were portrayed, and seeing their overall uh, relationship to one another having to grow, uh, because like they all had like their personal reasons as to why they were doing the things that they were doing. So uh, 
uh, I want to know from you guys down below. Comment down below if you guys have seen the movie. What are your thoughts? And uh, comparing this to the other DC films, where would you guys rank Suicide Squad? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll also be doing a spoiler-filled review in about an hour or so. So I really hope you guys tune in for that one. Uh, but comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you guys enjoyed, punch that like button, square in the face, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace.